it off the pack, ripping it away. Charlie Dixon runs in and kicks the first goal. What a magnificent performance by the new kids on the block. Each week on the Gold Coast Suns Best and Fairest segment, we'll celebrate the achievement of the club's leading performers. Our expert panel rate the five players they think led the way on field, awarding them valuable B and F points that will tally each week as the race for the Gold Coast Suns inaugural Best and Fairest award starts to sizzle. History and a full house greeted the Gold Coast Suns as they ran out onto Metricon Stadium for the first time. Fireworks lit up the stadium and the night sky across the Gold Coast pre-match before Gary Ablett led his young teammates into battle against the competition heavyweights, his old side, the Geelong Cats. The big man does well for a, a drop man, gets it through, and the Gold Coast finishing off this quarter. For two quarters, the sun sizzled. The highlight for most of the sellout crowd, Carmichael Hunt's first ever AFL goal. Cats clawed their way back from an 11-point half-time deficit to run out convincing winners against the gallant Suns, who adhered themselves to a legion of new supporters. Zach Smith continued his terrific form, kicking two goals and winning the hitouts for the night, earning himself another best on-ground performance for the Gold Coasters. Got himself into the clear, deserved to go with all that work, and he gets it. Gary Ablett also leading the way for the Suns, stinging the Cats with crisp disposals and quick footwork, skillfully evading his former teammates throughout a torrid encounter. Great fend off, easily. Vice captain and former All Australian Nathan Bock once again gave his all, providing a fierce contest down back, while Jared Brennan showed precision from the turf and in the air, finishing with seven marks and eight tackles. Have a look at this, just a little well, sort of semi soccer. The one-handed, it was clever, wasn't it? Yeah. Jared Harbrow also worked hard all night, collecting the final best and fairest vote on offer this week, rebounding and winning the contested ball from defence. So after 10 rounds, the ladder looks like this.